He is known for his successful military service and political career in ancient Rome. He held various positions such as military tribune, curule edile, and praetor. His name is Lucius Aemilius Paulus Macedonicus. In the realm of politics, one name stands out as a legendary figure, Lucius Aemilius Paulus Macedonicus. Born in ancient Rome, Paulus's journey into the world of politics began with his military service and subsequent election as a military tribune. His dedication and leadership skills soon propelled him to the position of curule edile in 193, a prestigious role in Roman governance. But Paulus's ambitions didn't stop there. In 191, he was elected as a praetor, a high-ranking magistrate responsible for administering justice. During his term, Paulus embarked on a mission to the Hispania provinces, where he faced the formidable Lusitanians in a series of campaigns that lasted from 191 to 189. His strategic prowess and determination were put to the test as he sought to maintain Roman control in the region. Despite his accomplishments, Paulus faced setbacks on his path to consulship, the highest political office in Rome. It took several years before he finally achieved this coveted position in 182, with Nias Bibius Tanthalus as his junior partner. This marked a turning point in Paulus's career, as he now had the authority and responsibility to shape Roman policies and lead military campaigns. In 181, Paulus was bestowed with Proconsular Imperium, granting him military command. He embarked on a crucial mission against the Ingani of Liguria, a region known for its fierce resistance. Paulus's leadership and strategic brilliance were on full display as he navigated the challenging terrain and successfully subdued the Ingani. These political achievements by Lucius Aemilius Paulus Macedonicus showcased his exceptional leadership skills and unwavering dedication to the Roman Republic. His victories in Hispania and Liguria solidified his reputation as a formidable statesman and military commander. Paulus's influence in the field of politics and his profound impact on the course of Roman history remain a testament to his enduring legacy. In the midst of the Third Macedonian War, Lucius Aemilius Paulus Macedonicus found himself at the center of a pivotal moment in Roman history. After a Roman army led by Publius Licinius Crassus suffered a defeat at the Battle of Callinicus, Paulus was elected consul once again in 168. Recognizing his expertise and leadership, the Senate appointed him to deal with the Macedonian War. With a renewed sense of purpose, Paulus led his troops into battle, facing off against King Perseus of Macedon. The decisive turning point came on June 22, when Paulus emerged victorious in the Battle of Pydna. Perseus was captured, and the Third Macedonian War came to an end. Paulus' military prowess and strategic brilliance had secured a significant triumph for Rome. Following his victory, Paulus was instructed by the Senate to return to Rome after first pillaging the kingdom of Epirus, suspected of sympathizing with the Macedonian cause. As he loaded the treasures from the Macedonian royal palace onto ships bound for Rome, Paulus reluctantly ordered the plunder of 70 towns in Epirus. The devastating consequence was the enslavement of 150,000 people, a decision that weighed heavily on Paulus' conscience. Despite this dark episode, Paulus' return to Rome was met with great acclaim. The immense plunder collected from Macedonia and Epirus allowed him to celebrate a spectacular triumph. The captured King Perseus himself, along with his sons, were paraded through the streets of Rome, marking the end of the Antigonid dynasty. In recognition of his achievements, the Senate bestowed upon Paulus the nickname Macedonicus. This was the pinnacle of his career, solidifying his place in Roman history. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.